What's up guys, this is Spencer. I'm gonna bring you a very quick Illustrator tutorial, how to add and remove anchor points in Adobe Illustrator. Let's hop in. All right, so I'm gonna draw a shape out here just with the rectangle tool, kind of draw a shape out. Now the anchor points, as you can see, are actually on each of the corners of the shape. Just four anchor points here. Well, let's say I wanted to add an anchor point to edit this shape a little bit more, maybe right here in the middle. I would need to switch to the pin tool. The shortcut key for that is P. And then with my shape currently selected, if I hover over, notice how the plus sign shows up. Smart guides are helping me add it right here in the middle where it intersects. So I can click the plus right there and I've added an anchor point to this shape. So now if I wanna manipulate that anchor point, I would go to the direct selection tool, select that anchor point, and I could just drag it up. Now I've created like a little house shape out of this rectangle. So you can see, you can quickly add anchor points to affect different parts of your shape, or there's a lot of different use cases here, but if you wanna remove them, there's two ways to do it, and I'll show you why you would wanna use one over the other. We go back to that pin tool, shortcut key is P. If I wanna remove this anchor point up here, notice when I hover over it, I've got the minus selection, so I can just click on it, and it removes the anchor point, we kind of go back to where we were. Let me control or command Z to undo. I could remove this anchor point over here. And now it's just going to draw a line between the next two anchor points because I removed the one between these two. All right, but that direct selection tool, I could manipulate my anchor points with that, right? Well, if I click over this, or I could just click it to select, I can click and drag or just click on it to select and hit the delete key to delete that anchor point. The major, major difference here is that with the direct selection tool, it deletes the anchor point and splits the path. So this is now an open shape, not a closed shape. So these paths do not connect to each other anymore, which means I could use something like the pin tool to click, notice the slash, it means I'm going to continue on the path. So if I click this once, now wherever I draw, it's gonna put another anchor point and allow me to continue the path, or I can close it up. See the circle on the pin tool? All these little tiny icons that show up on the pin tool will tell you different things. The minus is going to remove that anchor point, but keep the shape closed. The plus is gonna add an anchor point to any point along your path. The O is gonna close up the path. The slash will allow you to continue on the path from that anchor point. So if you're a beginner, I hope this tutorial wasn't too complex for you. Anywhere on this path, I can add as many anchor points as I want. I can remove them, any one. I can press A for the direct selection tool and select different anchor points to move them around. You can select multiple anchor points at the same time and click and drag even just along that path to move your shape around. So pretty useful. Learn to manipulate your anchor points if you really wanna create your custom shapes. But mainly in this tutorial, this is how to add and remove anchor points. You can do it with the direct selection tool, but remember it's gonna break open that path and that shape with the pin tool, it's gonna to allow the shape to just go from the next anchor point to the one that you didn't delete, whatever's after the one you deleted. So if you ever have a shape with multiple anchor points in there that you wanna remove and simplify, you can do it really quickly with the pen tool and use that direct selection tool to then manipulate the shape into whatever design you want. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys next time.